Oh, hey there. This video is all about my recording setup. Let's go. Okay, so I've actually had a lot of questions uh, over the past few months about my recording setup. I specifically just want to talk about my GoPro setup and my and the microphone that I use to capture my audio during games. I'm going to tell you exactly what I use and how I use it. So first off, the microphone, it's called an Instamic. Um, it's a freaking awesome little sport microphone. It's, it's meant for, you know, rugged use. So it's waterproof. You don't have to worry about uh, getting it wet. Um, although I haven't really tested it by dunking it underwater or anything, but I do believe it is actually waterproof. Um, it captures phenomenal stereo audio. Um, it's very easy to use. Uh, the only thing, you know, is you, you got to get used to how to kind of like turn it on and make sure that it's recording when you're playing. Um, but you know, once, once you do get used to that, it's, you know, it's second nature. And uh, the way I use it during my games is very simple. This is my microphone. This is my goalie mask. My microphone goes in the goalie mask. That's right. So I've got this uh, magnetic clip over here. And the Instamic does come with magnetic clips. Uh, I, I basically use double-sided adhesive uh, on this one. And uh, the microphone just clips right into it. And uh, doesn't, you know, I, there's been a couple instances when it kind of flew off when I was like scrambling around. Um, but, uh, you know, for the most part, it stays in there. But yeah, I mean, you could mount it in different parts of your body, but I find the best place for it is inside the chin cup of the mask. And, you know, it worked out for me with the shape of my chin, on my uh, Sport Mask Razor. Shout out Sport Mask, best mask manufacturer by far. Can you believe it? This thing is 12 years old. 12 years old. This is a Sport Mask Razor and it's 12 years old. Look at it. Just look at it. It's freaking amazing. This thing is a tank. Show me any other mask that you can use for 12 years of straight up hockey and maybe a thousand headshots and stick wax and bodies crashing into it and still be in this good condition. You won't, you won't, you won't. I dare you, I dare you. Anyway, yeah, I think the, uh, you know, the only drawback of this audio setup is that you do have to manually sync the audio to your GoPro footage, which I mean, I don't really mind anymore. I kind of have like a, a, a process that I'm used to now, so it's not too big a deal. Um, you know, your mileage may vary. If you're not very savvy with um, video production, you might want to um, look at different options for recording audio. So next up is the video component. I'm pretty proud of this one. So as you know, I, I use a neck cam a lot in my games. So the problem with you know, the GoPro on the ice is that it's very easy to knock it over. It's light, um, you know, whatever, whatever you're gonna put it on, whatever surface you put it on, is gonna slip around on the ice and it's gonna slide around. Um, so to counter that, I basically took two pucks. Um, I stuck them together with JB Weld. Um, and then I took a smaller puck, it's like a kid's puck. Um, JB welded that as well. I ended up using something called Suguru. This is a, uh, it's some kind of a molding clay. It kind of turns into like a hard plastic once it dries. So I used that to kind of just permanently fuse that GoPro mount into the puck. And this thing's never coming off. Unless I wanted to, I guess, with a heat gun or something. Now, I mean, you know, there's always drawbacks. Sometimes the camera does get kind of knocked around if somebody bumps into the net. And yeah, as far as, far as the camera itself goes, this is a uh, GoPro Hero 7 Black. I actually don't use this for my games. Um, the only reason I'm using this right now is because I just sent my GoPro Hero 9 Black back to GoPro for an RMA replacement. Um, it overheats when you try to record in 4K, which, you know, that's the whole point of getting a 4K action camera. This, this camera I usually use for my uh, motorcycle helmet, uh, just in the chin. Um, but for the time being, I'm going to use this until I get the replacement from GoPro. There are other attachments that you can do to, uh, you know, change up the position of the camera. Uh, one of them is the suction cup mount. Um, again, you can mount this on the glass behind you. The benefit of that is that it does allow you to see the play develop a little bit better, um, see your positioning uh, within the play as well. So, you know, for, for coaching, you know, that aspect of the game, I find, you know, the suction cup mount is better. Um, again, the neck cam is better for footwork and positioning if you're, if you're having struggles there and that's a good place to start coaching yourself with. Um, and by coaching yourself, I mean, you know, showing your footage to an actual goalie coach and having them analyze it um, because, you know, that's the only way you're going to get better. Um, the other attachment that I use very rarely um, is the, the helmet strap. Um, you know, it's 
mostly for fun, really. Like, I, I, I wouldn't use this in any kind of a serious situation, like a real game. Um, you don't really want to uh, extra target on your head. You get enough uh, headshots in beer league as it is, so I don't think I need any more of those. I've had enough concussions, thank you very much. This is fun for those uh, instances where, you know, if I'm playing against like a NHL guy or something, or, um, you know, like filling in for a development coach, um, it's cool to get some, you know, some, some interesting footage of uh, uh, 90 mile per hour slap shots coming right at your head. The other thing that I've used uh, kind of sparingly in the past, uh, this is a pole strap mount. Now, I used to um, strap this to the back bar of the, the goal post. It's kind of the same idea as the neck cam. Um, except obviously it's higher up off the ground and it kind of gives you a better view of the uh, you know the wide angle net cam view. Um, the only problem is that not all nets are built equal. Some of them have a very thick back bar, um, some of them have a very skinny one. Problem is that once you got a really skinny one this thing slides and it's kind of floppy and you know then the camera starts to move around and shift the angle shifts and it, you know that sucks. Um, and the other thing is that it kind of takes a little bit longer to set this up uh, at the start of every period. Anyway, that's my recording setup. Um, I hope you enjoy the video, and if you have any other questions, drop a comment. If you like the video, click that like. You guys and girls, you tell me what you want to see on the channel. So um, I'm glad I finally got to this, and uh, yeah, keep those requests coming. Um, I like to hear what, uh, what you're thinking. So on that note, I gotta get ready for my next game, actually, um, which is in like two hours. Um, so yeah, I'll be seeing ya.